I now request our Chief Guest, His Excellency Dr. S. C. Zamir, Honorable Governor of Odessa and Chancellor Birla Global University to kindly deliver the commencement day address. Sir, please. Dignitary Senator Dias, <clears throat> members of faculties and staff of university, ladies and gentlemen, and dear students. I am delighted to be with you today on the commencement day of the 2017 to 2020 batch of Bachelor of Business Administration program of Birla Global University, Bhubaneswar. I'm happy to extend my best wishes to all the students who have come from across the country to this university to make a career. Dear students, this day is about you. You have come here with dreams in your eyes. I'm sure you're excited. There are a few days in life when one is truly elated. The first day in college is one of them. When you are getting ready today, you must be feeling a tingling in your stomach. What would the auditorium be like? What would the faculty be like? Who are my new classmates? There's so much to be curious about. I call this excitement the spark within you that makes you feel truly alive today. So it is important how to save the spark. Imagine the spark to be a lamb's flame. The first aspect in nurturing to give you spark the fuel continuously. The second is to guard against storms, to nurture others, have goals. It is human nature to strive, improve, and achieve full potential. In fact, that is success. Never be afraid of failures. After all, they are the stepping stones to success. If challenges could always be overcome, they will cease to be a challenge. And remember, if you are failing at something, that means you are at your limit or potential. Challenges are to promote, increase, and strengthen you. Striving for that next level is important. So stretch yourself with knowledge and confidence. Find your passions and chase them with as much rigor and authenticity as you can master. And there is no reason why you cannot be successful. I appreciate that you come from different social, economical, and religious backgrounds from across the country to pursue your career. You're joining Brilla Global University, a new university in the realm of professional education in the state, and set up by the Birla Academy of Art and Culture, Kolkata, comes with a lot of expectation in your part, parents, friends, and also on the part of the university. All of them have one thing in common, and that is to see you succeed in your studies. I expect that in the coming days and weeks, you'll start lifelong friendships. And with commencement of classes, you will start to explore ways to fill out your days and evenings. The evolving nature of business today calls for a fundamentally different kind of leader. Gone are the days of the top-down, hard-nosed direction, demonstrating flexibility, and empathy while remaining true to the core values of the organizations and finding ways to dodge unpredictable impediments will be characteristic of tomorrow's professionals. There will be people who are inspirational, technologically savvy, but not prone to getting lost in details. Entrepreneurs devoted to service and inclusive rather than independent or autocratic. The biggest challenges for business management professionals of the 21st century are going to evolve, revolve around 
coming to understand fully how global business practices are evolving based on advances in the use of technology as well as the ability to connect with others at any time and anywhere. In the light of these 21st century leadership challenges, how can institution-based approach the challenge of developing true leaders? Answering this question means considering traditional models and methods for management education, examining how these are evolving and highlighting new approaches. The best answer needs to be expressed in terms of the wants and needs of both the employee and the organization and the ways the evolving nature of the relationship will be integral to the success of the enterprise. The key issues, in fact, relate to the themes of leadership, relationship building, and collaboration, because it is through attaining mastery in these areas that organizations and their leaders in the 21st century will survive and flourish. To address the leadership challenges of the next era of global business, traditional degree granting programs and professional schools as well as traditional methods, for example, books, literature, lectures, discussions, case studies will continue to be necessary but increasingly not sufficient. To develop professionals for success in an environment of strong market forces, changing people's issues and shifting leadership competencies, a new educational model will have to be forged. Traditional models fall short in their ability to link knowledge, skills, and concepts covered to the practice of leadership within actual work organizations. Change is constant, and lately it becomes very frequent. Managing disruption has become the new age formula. It is for companies and B schools to gear up to manage disruption effectively to their advantage and benefit. Every industry is facing disruption due to the twin forces of technology and globalization. If you look at the commerce and trade, it is becoming online, on demand, and increasingly personalized. These changes are dismantling the existing business structure and allow, allowing fresh interest to take the existing business head on. A sector like finance that was far from technological innovations is now facing disruption. Financial analysts are using business analytic and artificial intelligence to make crucial business decisions. By the time a student learns a tool during the study, there is already a newer and better tool in the market. It is the responsibility of business school and prepare to prepare students mentally and academically to face this disruption. All of us know that the disruptive times are bringing in changes that we have never been before. There is no historical example that can be followed. However, if academicians and corporates work hand in hand, the results will be phenomenal and long lasting. While the responsibility of training surely lies with the business schools, the content, delivery, and pedagogy can always be influenced through corporate intervention. If industry involvement can be formalized <coughs> using a time value formula, corporations will surely be more involved in the training process at business schools. And I'm sure we will all march towards a better India. Management education has a big opportunity to create leaders who can couple ideas with technology. Instead of one solution to a problem in mathematics, business does not have a single solution. The education should help future leaders in developing a creative mind to be able to design innovative solutions instead of searching for solutions from the past. Students should learn the art of changing the lenses with situation. Students need to be groomed 
to be part of our identities, adaptability, flexibility, and richness of content is more important than past concepts. It is for B schools to create business leaders and not just employees. There is a need to, for leaders who can create businesses and manage that, their complexity. Students need to be trained to first become employable and then entrepreneurs. I also feel that management education should also be focused on training business leaders on how to identify value and refine it as a business. Dear students, you all are here to begin your future adult lives. My best advice for you is to impress opportunities and use them to the best of your abilities. Take full advantage of the resources in front of you. Don't doubt your ability to make a difference. It is that optimism embodied in the words of the philosopher and educator Horace Mann, and I quote, a different world cannot be built by indifferent people. You have a chance to stray yourself into new spaces, to become something more than you have been. By taking chances to do that, you establish a long life pattern of exploration, of growth, and of change that will serve you well in your future. The university community consists of academicians, administrators, and support staff, all who are dedicated to ensure that you achieve your goals. Take advantage of every one of them. I want you to thrive and succeed economically, socially, professionally, and personally. Finally, I wish all the best and exciting, rewarding, challenging, and stimulating time on this university, which will be part, which will start of what I hope will be a long experience as proud students of the Birla Global University Bhubaneswar. With these words, I wish the university to grow and make its mark as the leading institutions of learning in various disciplines besides management and research in the country and at the international level justifying its stake as a global university. Thank you and God bless you. Jai Hind.